I'm Jennifer Snyder. Welcome to the Flying Unicorns Wednesday night Ustream series. I am, oh, we hold it every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Next week is Karen Tamir. And I have a lot of, I have a few announcements, but I have a lot to roll through tonight. So I'm going to move it at a pretty good clip. Um, first, I, I just want to thank everybody who participated in the silent auction to help us um, raise money for the Flying Unicorns Gives Back. The month of November at the Flying Unicorns is our month um, to give back and do some charitable fundraising. This year we picked, um, it's the Cure Search for Children's Cancer organization and the silent auction um, brought in $2,000 so far. So thanks everybody who put bids in. We really appreciate it. And your prizes should be going out in the mail very soon. So thanks a lot. And the next initiative we have um, for fundraising is our um, gallery uploads. For every gallery upload in the month of November, up to a thousand uploads, we'll donate a dollar per upload to the charity. And we still need 300 uploads to meet our goal. So if you have any projects that that you've um, maybe never uploaded before or just haven't gotten around to it, November is a great time to do that. So we can all pitch in and, and um, raise a little extra money and meet our goal. So let's see, what else? Oh, December kits. Pre-sale goes on sale tonight at midnight. So if you want your opportunity to get the December kit, you might want to think about pre-sale because they have been selling out pretty quick. Pre-sale is 48 hours, starts midnight tonight. Hop to it. You won't regret it. It's beautiful and it's magical. It's um, an amazing kit. Um, oh, yes. Black Friday sale. It's we uh, me mega sale for three days starts Black Friday. If you know all the sales, they're crazy. So uh, you want to maybe get to the to the um, unicorn store before you get hip checked out um, at the last minute by somebody purchasing what you wanted. It's happened to me. So um, okay, so let's get started. Uh, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So let's see if I can turn my computer around. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, that was like almost too easy this time. I don't usually get this lucky. Well, okay, I'm not lucky. I'm not there yet. Let's pull it back a little, a tinch. Okay, anyways, this is a wreath. Um, it's a canvas that I created. Let's get some extra light on too. Light. Yeah, it's a little better. This is a wreath I created. Actually, what happened was... I did this Julie Nutting um, luggage suitcase set. And this is the cover of my Julie Nutting set. And I really liked it. I had wished it was a wall hanging. So, voila, I created a wall hanging. Um, anyways, this is what we're going to work on. I, I've i got a lot of Primo goodies in here. Um, and the... the paper collection I'm using tonight is Cigar Box Secrets. By far, my favorite that Prima released. Whoops! Wow! That was crazy! There. Well, let's... Okay. I think I'm much better. Um, okay. What I, I did a little prep work because I loved um, what Delena and I think Lynn did some prep work. I needed this to be dry ahead of time for the show tonight. What I did was I just took my canvas and I um, used some gel mat, some gel medium. Prima's got a great gel medium. You can use um, any kind of gel medium. It doesn't have to be, this one is soft gel medium and it's transparent. It can be, um, I don't know. It doesn't need to be matte. It can be, I, what, I don't know what's the opposite, shiny. I don't, I don't think they call it shiny, though. 
anyways I just I slathered it all over my canvas um, I used my fingers because I'm just like that and then I just put the paper over it it's it, it, it adheres very well um, the matte gel is a really great glue but it doesn't leave ripples if you just kind of um, smooth it out with your hand or um, a credit card like a you know a bad credit card um, it works fine so anyways that's our starting point this piece of paper like I said is um, cigar box secrets and it's called figurados um, and I I know that Alda has it in the store oh she did I'm gonna make my wreath part now I'm gonna show you how to do this yes it would be wonderful to have a piece of 12 by 12 but Alda didn't have the 12 by 12 cigar box in the store so I grabbed the A4 paper pad um, which uh, I just love this collection um, so I'm going to show you how to improvise using um, the A4 really really simple you know sometimes you just have to cobble together some paper if you have an idea in your head and um, you just have to cobble it together and make it work and this is one of those occasions uh, so I had I, I made myself a template so I knew how big I had to cut this um, I've got my handy little cutter from creations it's K R E A X I O N S I don't know how to say that creations is how I say it but best little cutter in the world I mesh I it expands out to 10 inches so um, I don't have to use my paper plates anymore or my kitchen plates I can use this handy thing and get up to 10 inches in diameter so I made mine nine and a half and I'm gonna kinda just test it to make sure I don't run off the edge um, um, oops a little bit come on you crazy thing I think we're just about good okay so I'm gonna make my cut oops I'm not even in the right place I kinda had a oh, almost didn't hit this show almost didn't happen tonight at the last minute my um, camera stopped working a little bit of panic I gotta say I had to call the husband he had to come and save me but save me he did so okay so let's get this paper started with this cutter you move the paper you do not move the cutter and you just kind of like move it around like that okay so you're saying crazy Jen what the heck this is not going to be a wreath and I say just hang in there with me um, the next the next little thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to punch um, my edges like that and I'm using I'm going to move this out of this I'm using a corner punch and what I'm going to do is flip my corner punch over and just stick it in there you can see I I just graze the, the um, edge of the paper and I just punch and then I move along and I graze the edge of the paper a little bit and I you know I just keep moving along like that now I'm not a perfectionist so I might have little things like little um, pieces like this where I didn't quite match my punch edge eh, I don't care I really just don't care I'm gonna cut them off and it's gonna look beautiful so we're just gonna move along at a clip punch my pretty edges um, this works so well with just about any corner punch okay there you go see how quick that was um, and now what I'm gonna do is cut my inside circle hi everybody thank you for tuning in I, I, I'm sorry I think I was rude I haven't um, I haven't thanked you so thank you I appreciate it um, my next cut is six and a quarter inches so I'm gonna take and move it down to six and a quarter simple 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 
that's going to work out well for me and I'm just going to make the next cut. I already knew where my little hole was, I could see it. So then I'm just going to do this. And just cut the inside of my wreath. Great. Okay, now you're saying, Crazy Jen, Crazy Jen, it still doesn't look like a wreath. So, oh, before I do that, I'm just going to pretty it up a little bit by cutting off these little itty bitty tails that I had. You know, I guess, um, well, I guess if I were going to take a little more time and have a little more care, I'd probably try to match my corner punch up a little bit better, but eh, I didn't. So, okay. Anyways, what I'm going to do, let's get rid of this. I'm going to punch this one. Whoops. Okay, so once again, I've got my corner punch, and I'm going to just stick it in there. I don't, when I'm doing this technique, I do not pull out the corner because it just won't work. So put the wings in and punch away. You don't really even have to punch the whole circle because we're only going to use a portion of this. But this is really just a great way to use up um, and cobble together some paper. If you're kind of running lower, don't have the exact size paper that you need. Okay, so I only did a little bit because I don't think... I, don't, I might do a little bit more. Whoops. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody have a good day? I had a good day. Okay, there, there we go. Ah, and here is how I'm going to finish my circle. I'm just going to cut it, um, yeah, maybe a little bit. Now, this is kind of like the guessing game, but okay, I'm just going to cut my circle. There you go. Now, I'm just going to cut here and glue it together here and maybe cut here and glue this piece on and bam, bam, got a circle. I could cut this off and pretty it up a little bit. Now, I'm not too worried because this is where my embellishments are going to go. So, I'm not going to get hung up about that. That is like the least of my worries. But, let's glue my circle together. If only I knew where my glue was. If only. If only. Well, you know, I can't do a show without glue. That is just... Nutty, nutty crazy. I usually have bottles. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's go find my glue. Sorry, people. I'll have to use this bottle. I have to, oh, and we're out of focus. Why is that like out of focus? Well, let's proceed. It'll get back in focus, I imagine. You know what? Let's give it something to focus on. That probably would help a little bit. Hello? Weird. Okay. Anyways, I'm just going to glue this down and create a circle. Create, finish up my circle there. Okie dokie. Um, okay. Now I'm going to ink. Wow, you are so blurry, little fella. What? Why? Why do this to me? Um, I don't know. I don't know why. But I wanted to give this a nice vintage appeal, so I'm really going to ink the edges. Um, and I, I prepped 
my canvas ahead of time because I really needed to um, have the canvas dry so that I could ink the edges of the canvas too. I'm sorry people, I'm just out of focus. My life is out of focus today. I'm, but I guess you can kind of get the gist. I'm very unhappy with this, very dissatisfied. But I have to keep on going. So I'm going to take and really ink up. I'm using um, Vintage Photo. I'm going to use some Walnut. I'm going to use Vintage Photo. I'm just going to use the kitchen sink tonight. Oh, uh-oh. Ah! There we go. I'm sitting, my computer screen went dark for a sec. I thought I lost you guys. Um, yep, so I'm doing a lot of, a lot of ink dis or edge distressing tonight. I really, uh, heck with the blender. Heck with the blender tool. I'm just going to do it the quick way. Expedite. So, yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now I'm going to expedite and do the inside of my circle. You know, I love the way the ink looks when it's dry and then when it, or when it, when it's wet and then when it dries up, it kind of lightens up and then I lose the look that I was hoping I would achieve. Okay. I love, love it. Um, I'm going to set it aside. I'm, you know what? I'm so sorry. Let's see if I can give it more of a focal point. Well, there you go. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take my ink pad and also ink the edges of my canvas. I'm going to do that right now. Because I'll probably do it a few times. Like I said, I want it really dark. And uh, it always lightens up when it's drying. And this is why I needed to prep the canvas ahead of time because... Um, I didn't want the gel mat, uh, uh, the matte gel medium, to get all over my blending tool. You know? Ah, oh, heck with it. Let's expedite again, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we're st we're still in focus. I think my my little camera just needed a a reason to focus tonight. It's like his mama. I'm so out of focus today. So, um, I don't know, all over the page at work today. Okay. We'll pick this up and we'll do more. Oh, you know what? Let's mix it up and use some walnut stain. I know. You guys don't want to watch, sit here and watch me distress my edges. And yet you are. For those of you in the United States celebrating Thanksgiving next week, I hope it's a wonderful Thanksgiving for you. We have a lot to be thankful for. I, I'm, I hope you do. I, I'm pretty sure. We all do. Okay. Excellent. There we go. Um, so I'm going to... I want some to mention to my wreath I decided. So ahead of time, I pre-cut a circle out of um, cardboard so that you didn't have to watch me cut a circle. I'm going to glue it on. Ooh, let's get let's get you centered again. Thanks everybody for coming and visiting me tonight. Um, I'm not the most articulate person and I get tongue tied so I really appreciate your support. Um, yikes, whatever garbage that is. I have to. I have to tell you. I think this came from. Um, <laughs> okay, this is. It was Danish Day at work one day. Okay, and um, the fifteenth of every month is like treat day, birthday treats, and so it was Danish Day, and 
Uh, the baker bakery delivers. I don't know. It must have been sixty Danishes, right? <laughs> and they all had um, these goofy. They all came on these goofy round. Well, goofy. I thought they were wonderful. These round um, cardboard bases. And so I stalked the kitchen at work until the Danishes were gone. And whenever one, <laughs> whenever one Danish was gone, I'd swoop in there and take the cardboard and <laughs> run back to my desk. I don't know. So by the end of the day, I must have had like 15 of these. And people kept wondering why I was hanging about the kitchen and organizing Danish. Oh, goodness gracious. It was a fun day. So, um... Let's just glue this down. Wow, it's 20 minutes after already. Boy, how this time, this time, this time together with you really just flies so magically. Um, okay, there we go. There we go. Pop it on. I didn't have to give it dimension, but I figured since it was a wreath, and, um, okay, now I know this looks a little odd. This is where we cobbled it together. Eh, you won't even notice. Um, I am a little displeased about losing my glue on my table here, but such is life. We are just going to keep on moving. So the next, um, this is what I did. The next little step I'm going to do is add some decorative trim on the inside of my wreath here. Oh, uh, you know what? I got a little bit of a little bit of a cardboard problem. I'm just gonna shove it back under there. Okay, perfect. This is just some gold trim I bought um at one of the I don't know box stores or maybe it might have been on sale someplace. But it's festive. It's you know it's not a really bright gold. It's kind of more of an antique gold. Um, and that's why I think it goes so nicely with this project because this has kind of got an old world gold charm to it. Oh, you know what? Stick around. If anybody wants, I'm going to be giving away this um, canvas tonight because goodness gracious knows I can't have two of the same canvas hanging in my house. Okay? That would just, my husband would not think I was sane if I did that. So I'd like to give it away. If anybody wants it, um, I'll be shouting out a name tonight. Um, you know what? You can gift it. I don't really, I don't really care what you do with it once you get it, but you can, if you want to gift it or, uh, I don't know, rip it down for spare parts, whatever, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Once it's yours, it's yours. Um, okay. So there we go. It's done. Ew, let's let's tack this down a little bit more. Uh, if you're wondering, I know we have this conversation all the time. I'm using three in one beacons. I love it. Love the stuff. But whatever works for you is is cool. It can get pricey, so. Um, oh let's see. Do I need more light? Let's Sure, sure I do. Yes, I do, Jen. Um, you know, all of them must not be here tonight because I haven't gotten the phone call that said, did I record? Um, womp, womp. I didn't record. A, I didn't hit record. Yes, I did. That, that's cruel. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is start building the base of my wreath. I love these vines. These are Prima Vines. Um, I actually probably can't have enough of these vines. So, uh, I know Alda's got several of these in the store. Maybe not this particular one. This one is, um, five, seven, eight, two, six, eight. If you just type that in, into Alda's store, that'll come up. The code number will come up. And that's why a lot of times we use the code numbers, um, because they're very handy for shopping. Um, okay. So I'm going to, and you know what? Prima does stopped putting the names of the flowers in the vines on their packaging. So I can't call it by its pretty name because a lot of times I don't really 
know its pretty name. So that's why the code numbers are also very handy. I'm just giving this, oh, heck with it. I gotta pull out the guns again. Just ink in the edge, the edges. I'm, right now, this is walnut. Um, you know, the walnut ink, the, what is it called? Yeah, walnut, walnut stain. It's really dark. Well, I don't need to tell you that, you probably know it. But this paper also has a very dark um, tone to it, so I think it just goes nicely. Uh, you know, I don't use the walnut stain a lot. I think that some of, you know, sometimes it's, we have our preferences. I know a lot of people love it. Well, I tend not to use it too much. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. 10% off. Anything that I use that is available in the store is 10% off. So, and, ooh, 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 I'm telling you, the Black Friday sales, uh, all the, she goes all out, I tell you. Oh, and did you see? She had the boxes that came in posted on Facebook. Um, and she built a little fort and out of her boxes. Uh, and she put a big note that said, "Boy, no boys allowed. But I have a feeling that if the child, her son, the child, knocked on the door and said, Mom, can I come in? I, I have a feeling Alda would have a soft spot in her heart. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking not. So, and especially, she might be able to hook him into loading some of the inventory in the store so we can have it next week. Right? That would be ideal. So I'm just taking this vine, and I'm just going to stick it on. Okay? I cut off a leaf, because I'm going to pop the leaf on over here when I'm done. Um... I have some glue strands. I know, you know, the one thing that I think people say they don't like the Beacons 3-in-1 is because it does get stringy. i got to admit, but um, I just deal with it. It's, it's not disturbing enough for me to stop using the product. Okay, the next product that I love, my favorite flowers of the season are really leaves. They're the Prima Flowers. These are the Rodanth collection. Now I do know that name because I've used them so many times. Um, these are the Rodanth and their number is 577780. So 577780. I'm going to take a couple of these and I'm going to just um, ink the edges. I don't even care which ones I pick. There's all different variety in here. They've got some poinsettia leaves. They've got some, I don't know, all kinds. So I'm just going to pull a few out. Take them back. Back for another time. My little beauties. And, um, yeah, going to ink the edges. How'd you know? How'd you guess? This one. Ah, before I do that, I'm going to ink it a different way. I love, I don't know if you guys have used these, these um, color box, they're, they're clear snap color box mixed media inks. I adore these. Um, they're very pigmented and very robust, but I just find them very manageable because I bought these cool little color box um, styluses. I guess that's what they're called. But I just dab it like this, and um, I just ink gently. It's, you know, for me, it handles more manageably than the blending than the than the blending tools. These are awkward, and I got awkward fingers, so the two don't match. They don't mix. So I find this. Um, my little stylus is a very handy solution for me. Whoops, silly me, I'm doing the wrong side. So I'm just going to um, ink up my little leaf edges. Hi, everybody. 
thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping in. You don't know how much that warms my heart. Um, and I know each and every other designer that hosts the Ustream, I know you're also making their night and warming their little hearts. So thank you. And once again, thank everybody. I want to thank everybody for helping us with um, Flying Unicorns Gives Back. Our um, charitable event for the month of November. This might be good. Let's do, let's do, just do one more. I did the green first, and then I'm going to go over the edges with um, a little brown. This, oh, you know what? I didn't tell you, but this is mossy. I, you know what? I got to say, I hoard this. I probably have four containers of it plus the refill. I just love it, and I always, I'm always afraid that someday I will be without it. Um, and this next one is truffle. And um, I have my brown truffle stylus tip. So, going to do that. Now, I'm not doing a lot. I'm just kind of um, accenting them so the tips pop a little bit. But I'm not going all hog wild and inking the edges. Sometimes less more is or less is more yeah I'll, I'll go with that sometimes less is more um, except when you're having a crazy crazy Black Friday sale then more is great the more the better um, there we go good 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 let's keep on moving moving uh, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to take a little bit of mossy and pop it on this. You know what I also love about, i got to tell you, i got to rant a little bit more about these color box um, inks. These babies! The ink pad stays inked. Um, it doesn't dry out. These are very pigmented, and they do take a little bit more time to dry. But I can pick up my stylus tomorrow and just have a little green, add a little green to something. Um, so, like this, I'm going to add some green to the edge. You know, just green it up. But I could come and do this tomorrow and, and it would just have, have a little subtle green in it. Um, still wet and still active for me to use. Just greening up the place. Getting ready. Pulling the green out for Christmas. I know this really doesn't look like a Christmas wreath. Um, yeah, you could, you know what? You could keep it up all season. But I, I love wreaths. I just love them. As you could tell, I think that my last couple of you streams have been wreaths. I'm an addict. Okay, there we go. Love it. The brown. Whoops. Oh, yuck. Ooh, don't like that. Eh, hide it. Hide. Hide it. Blend and hide. Sometimes we have to do that. Right? Sometimes we just have to revamp. Okay. Right. Um, let's... Let's do the next step. I have... Oops, yikes! Almost dropped it. I have this really cool, gorgeous, gorgeous Prima Resin the shabby chic treasures it's the birds I adore him he's so beautiful so we're gonna make him even prettier that's what I say let's let's kind of clear the table we'll not get distracted by all this other stuff for now I'm gonna take my color blue mist in tea stain I'm gonna give it a shake and I'm just gonna give it him a mist The mist will settle nicely in the crevices of this little darling, and um, I'm going to dry him real quick, and he's going to just pop a little bit off and, and blend in with the vintage look that I'm, I'm trying to achieve. So while I'm drying, I'm just going to pop in and... See, uh, make sure the chat's working okay, and thank everybody once again for joining me in my scrappy little space. 
And little, when I say little, I'm, I'm talking little. It's like a closet. But it's mine, and it makes me happy, and um, I'm grateful for it. Okay, he's just about, just about dry. You know, I got to tell you, I scrapped on my dining room table forever, um, and then I had a little mishap. Yeah, I had a circle cutter, and um, I had a really nice cherry dining room table, and you can see where the story's going. I didn't put adequate um, stuff, you know, some kind of stuff down to protect my table and wouldn't you know I cut a big circle in in the top of my cherry table and there was a big circle in the wood and I couldn't hide it I couldn't hide it from my husband so he he moved me to the basement to our finished basement and made my own little scrappy space so I think hey sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get a space of your own you know um, okay so I'm going to just Stick some of these in here, like so. Glue them down. Why don't Why don't I? I know. I tried to be sneaky, sneaky like my boys with my husband, but he did not go for it. C can't blame the cat. Can't blame the boys. Oh, I'll tell you. Um, now, before I glue the rest of those down, I'm going to, we're moving along. I'm going to, I'm going to have you out, out of here in no time. I, I had this gold bow. Very shiny. I like it. I, I, but I'm just going to stick it on there. This has a metal, um, it's, it's one of those metal edged, wire edged, wire edged ribbons. Did you, did you realize I used to stress about the wire edges, and I, I used to hate them. But you know, if you if you take and cut the edge, you can see the little wire. I don't know. I don't know if you can. Just take it and just pull it out. Pull it out like that. Boop. Wire be gone. Pull the other side out. Just like that. And now you don't have to stress. There's no wire. So if you do like the wire edging, that's fine. You've got it. If you don't like it, just remove it. Very simple. I mean, I really used to stress over it because I did, I'm not, I didn't like the wire edging. But now, it's all good. That's how you got to live life. It's all good. Let's glue this, let's glue this little thing down. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Um, Karen Tamir is up next week. And um, I know that you'll, she's always dazzling. So I know that you're going to love what Karen, how Karen entertains us next week. Um, yeah, I'm just going to give it a little cut. Okay, I am going to, um, I'm going to, yo, oh, you know, before I get too deep into this, I had some braiding, some gold braiding that I bought, and I'm going to glue, I think now is about the time I can glue my braiding on to the edge. My braiding is starting, the edge is starting to fray, so I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm not going to worry about it, it's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue it down. Yeah, I'm struggling. What am I going to do? My 3-in-1 is kind of getting drippy, so I'm going to clean up its act. Um, so, you know, like I was saying at the start of the show, um, the Flying Unicorns, for the month of November, we do Flying Unicorns Gives Back, where we pick a charity every year, and we try to um, encourage some fun activities to raise some much-needed cash for some of these charities. This year, it's um, Cancer Cure for Children, 
and um, we did a lot of research. I'll tell you, we just don't pick these charitable organizations. Um, we don't pick them lightly. We did a lot of research. We had a little, um, I don't know, a little team. Our, well, it's not, our, it's not a little. Our whole team pitched together. We tossed around some ideas, and then we set off to research who, which of these organizations and foundations really use their money wisely. And, you know, there's a lot of them that don't. And um, I don't want to give my money to somebody that's going to just toss it in the wind. I, I can do that. In fact, I do. I have more fun doing it. So um, we spend a lot of time and we take it to heart which of these organizations is going to um, be good stewards of our money. And this at organization absolutely was. Um, it's called Cancer Cure or Cure Search for, for Children's Cancer. And they have a very, very high percentage um, in the 90s, 90%, 90-ish percent of their donations are actually used for research. And that's really, really great. Okay, back to, back to the program, Jen. I have this blue, this uh, blue, I have this blue ribbon. <sighs> I have this green ribbon that I got from Alda's store, from the Unicorn store. And it's, um, I, I don't know. It's, I'm not even going to try to tell you what it is. It's just pretty. I can't even, I can't even make up a name for it. My mind isn't working. You know, I, I don't think you guys realize my bedtime is 9 o'clock. Well, my bedtime is 10. But at 9 o'clock, I'm, my mind is just, it doesn't fire on all cylinders because I get up at 4.30. So, I'm not talking, I'm talking green is blue and, uh, whatever. Okay, so I put my ribbon down, and I'm going to add my beautiful bird. Once again, this is the Shabby Chic Treasures, and I added some color blue mist to it in tea stain and popped it with my heat gun. I didn't need to, I guess. I mean, if, if you don't have a heat gun, you could probably let it air dry. I've never tried it. I'm too impatient. So I'm going to slather him up them on. Ooh, he's coming together nicely. I gotta say. Um, let's finish putting it. You know what? I'm almost done. You guys, I got like, I got like five minutes left. And then we can just chitter chat, you know, all the rest of the time. I'm gonna raffle this off. Not raffle it off. Give it away. I can't use them. I can't use it all. It's too much. What are you going to do with two wreaths that look the same? So, if you want to hang out, um, I'll be picking a name. Um, let's, I've got this cheap, very cheap berry pick that I bought. I'm just going to snip off a little and just glue it on. For just some, you know, a quick pop of color in here. Oh my glue. Goodness gracious. It's... Oh, anyways, you know what? I got talking to Cancer Cure and I forgot to tell you what I was really aiming for. I got so sidetracked. Anyways, our initiative for the month of November was a thousand uploads to the gallery and for every upload, Alda will donate a dollar or the unicorns will donate a dollar. Um, and we haven't met our goal yet. Our goal is a thousand, like I said, and we're at 700. So if you can find, um, um, you know, just a few moments to upload some art into the gallery and help us achieve our goal, that would be really great. We would be really appreciative. I'm going to pop one more piece in here because I just love the way the red looks in there. It's got a little, little flecks of gold and... It's just very beautiful. Very beautiful. So, there you go. There we go. Um, let's pop another flower down there. You know what? I'm almost done. We're going to get you to bed early. Well, maybe not to bed, but maybe you could go have a glass of wine or something. Could you see me having a glass of wine right now and, and hosting a show? Oh my God, craziness, 
crazy would happen. Let me tell you that. Um, you know, I'm trying to be very conscientious and use all of my supplies because I find that I get so um, oh, just distracted that sometimes I forget to use the supplies that I had intended. Um, okay, this, I'm going to dab um, some of these beautiful pink flowers. And this is Prima's, um, they're just a beautiful rainbow of colors. This is Prima 577575. going to open it up. And I'm going to take the pink out. Um, I'm calling it pink, but it's kind of a, a little blend of, it's got some pink in it, some orange in it. It's got a little bit of mauve in it. And so I think that it'll, it works nicely. It pulls off the pink and the reds from this gorgeous cigar box paper, which I adore. Oops, I really want to pull him out a little bit there, make him... I don't know what I want to do with him. Sometimes I need to leave best alone, you know? Oh, gosh. Oh, okay, that's good. Put one there. Oh, I'll put one over here. Yep, these flowers are pretty. Um, they. Ha I think that Prima has another pack that has some more um, jewel tones and that pack is gorgeous too same collection different name Let's stick this guy right there and um, let's see ah, stick this little you know he's not inked enough for me so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my mossy and gussy him up a little bit more And uh, glue it in. Stick it down. I have one more thing to add to this. And I'm done. Yeah, I know. I'm done. Um, okay. My last little item, if I can find it, it fell on the floor, is... Um, these came... Yeah, okay. Uh, this came in a kit, one of our kits. Um, maybe last month, two months ago. They're from Jilly Bean Soup from Hampton Art, and they're corrugated words. They, they're called corrugated shapes, but I know words when I see them, okay? I know, I know what a word is. They're trying to fool us, but <laughs> you can't fool me. Not like that. So I'm going to use the word joy. On my original... I use the word love, but I want joy. I want to be joyful this time. So I'm going to set this aside, my little um, jelly bean soup corrugated. And guess what? Yes, you guessed it. I'm going to give it some ink. I'm going to just give it some ink. I don't want to re-ink my ink, my blending tool, because then I think that it'll be too much ink. Robust? I don't really want it like that. So I'm going to, okay, that's good. I used my leftover ink from my um, stylist, and it was mixed media truffle. Mixed media truffle. I know that Alda did have some mixed medias in the store, so... Um, Let's see. Last step. Last step. I I really like these. These are the the Prima Art Extravagance glitters, glitter sets. They this one's called Luminous, and it has a whole range of um, golds and coppers and the metals, the precious metal colors. So I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna use some of my Tombow. I know I'm using a different glue. I don't think I've ever done that on the show, but I'm gonna use a little Tombow and um, I'm just gonna run some glue on my 
little joy corrugated um, shape as jelly bean soup would like to call it but we know better and uh, I'm going to add some whoops 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 that is not cool not cool Jen let's do that I'm just gonna add a little bit of joyful glitter to it this is also more of an antique gold I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna pop it on because it does look joyful you know and that's what crafting does for us doesn't it doesn't it make you heal, feel happy and joyful it's like you're ah, your little solace in a world gone crazy you know so let's get this out of the way I'm gonna remove it from the table I'm gonna pop it on kind of right there once again this is um cigar box secrets I love, 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 love this collection. Okay. Just when you think I'm done, I'm not. Because I'm back to inking the edges. Back to inking. Giving me one last ink. Ink over. Okay? Because I just really want it to be nice and vintage looking. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more green here and there. Just green it up little accent uh, and I guess I'm gonna call it I'm calling it done I am calling it done so there you go all done she's beautiful so let's see if I can flip the um, camera around and, and come back to you Ah, that was not bad at all. So, I uh, thank you all for stopping in. I just want to reiterate um, the announcements that I made. If you can find it in your heart to upload any artwork that you have, any pieces, a card, maybe um, your beautiful face, upload it because for every upload, up to a thousand uploads for the month of November, Flying Unicorns will donate a dollar for every upload, and we need 300 more to meet our goal. Thank you for the silent auction bids. We raised $2,000. Yay! Yay, team! And Karen Tamir is next week. Um, the kits, pre-sale kits go on sale starting midnight tonight. You've got 48 hours to pull the trigger. So... It's a beautiful Christmas gift, or a beautiful Christmas kit, full of magic. Um, you'll love it. And you'll be sad if you miss it. And the Black Friday sale starts, well, obviously, it starts on Black Friday. And it runs for three days. But once the good stuff is gone, you're going to hip check. You know, if you get hip checked, I warned you. Um, oh, so now I'm going to pick... Um, if I'm going to pick a winner for my wreath canvas and I think my winner today is um, Jean Grandma Jean you're my winner Jean Bullock you're my winner so if you hang around or send me um, a message on the flying unicorn site or my Facebook page because you just friended me today. I thought we were friends already. But um, tell me what your address is because all of my auction items are going out in the mail today or tomorrow. So you can, if you get me your address, Toot Sweet, I will send your wreath out tomorrow. So thank you, everybody. I really appreciate you all being here. And um, have a wonderful night.